Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a fantastic and special emergency episode of Under Radar. Why is this an emergency episode, you ask? Because One Shot has been released and I'm not hearing a lot about it. So I'm making this episode as a countermeasure to prevent it from fading to obscurity. Let's dive into this game immediately, and I'll be giving it my all in this episode, because I only have one shot at this. One Shot is an RPG Maker 2003 puzzle adventure game created by Matthew Velasquez, Gurr, and Casey Gu, who many know as Night Margin. It was created in a month for the 2014 Indie Game Maker Contest and was released on June 30th, 2014 as a free game, inspired by incredible stories such as Yuma Nikki, Link's Awakening, Hyperlight Drifter, and The Little Prince. It blew the minds of those who played it and innovated with incredible mechanics and an adventure that really put the pressure on you. And two years later, One Shot is back and has a much more expanded game with more story, more characters, more to love, but still one shot at getting it right. It's been two years since the original and after not hearing about it barely, I've deemed it an underrated game when it came out in 2014. Now I'm making it my duty to do my part to promote its more complete and expanded version now so it doesn't follow the same fate. The story of One Shot is all about you meeting a kid named Nico, who awakes in a strange world and must find his way home. Along the way you realize the world you're in is sinking into the darkness and you're tasked with being its savior and bringing the sun back to light this world and save it. Along your pilgrimage you'll meet unique characters, strange but beautiful lands, and possibly a way to return home. The story is unique from other games I've played, but it gets even better. I'll try not to spoil much for you about this game, but I'll just say that you're involved with this game more than you know, and you'll not only freak out when the time comes, but you'll also be as amazed as I was with it. The artwork in this game is superb and really gives you a nostalgic feel that not only rivals Cave Story but also complements it as if they were family members from the same branch. The character design is also a treat with Nico's glowing cat eyes really giving this character a unique look that's just a joy to look at. The other character designs are also very charming to the eyes and I'm sure you'll end this game with some unforgettable faces. The lands you traverse are also relaxing to look at and some areas like the city really give you a beautiful mix of colors and lighting that give you more reason to explore. One Shot overall gives you such a charming and visually appealing experience that just feels one of a kind. The soundtrack in this game is also a treat, as it uses the piano extremely well to invoke emotions and ambience at certain points of your quest. It's a bit strange as well if I'm being completely honest. The music just sounds so unique but at the same time it really helped me get immersed in this world and its plight. music is so beautiful to listen to that I would encourage anybody who enjoys it to go out and buy the soundtrack they have available. It feels like sad tunes surround you, but it just makes me more determined to finish this quest and save this world.
One Shot is a puzzle game that requires some thought to get through, but isn't too difficult at the same time. It incorporates a combination system similar to that of your typical adventure games where you create new items by mixing old ones. You also sometimes need to equip certain pieces of equipment to do things such as get through a land of smoke or combine dangerous chemicals together. And all this while you explore the lands of the barrens, the glen, the refuge, and eventually the tower. There's a lot to see and a lot to experience so be sure to take it all in and relax. One very special thing about this game is that it carries a unique feature which is in the name of the game itself. You only have one shot to beat this game. If you exit the game for any reason, Nico and the world he's in dies and your quest becomes a failure. To prevent this, there are red beds you'll encounter in the game that, when you sleep in them, the game saves and exits at the same time. Once you boot up the game, Nico will reawaken and the game goes back on track. This perhaps even deletes the save created so if you exit the game, it's game over. But I'm honestly too afraid to test this theory currently. One of the only negatives I could say about this game is that sometimes the screen transitions to the next scene leave you in what appears to be the middle portion of the map, if that makes sense. So I get a sense of confusion sometimes and lose my way. It would be cool if they had the screen transitions you see in games like the Game Boy Zelda games, but this is just a minor gripe and so minor it doesn't take away from the magic this game possesses. One Shot truly lets you aid Nico on his quest in such a unique way, and when you realize what that special way is, I hope you appreciate how innovative it is and realize how big a part you are in this grand scheme of this game and its world. One Shot is a special game that holds a special place in my heart. I've never played a game like it, and I don't think I ever will with how unique and innovative its mechanics are. One Shot is such a unique experience that I hope you will all give this game at least one shot. And I hope I did my part in securing this game's status as a well-known and successful game that doesn't become underrated or fade into obscurity. Funnily enough, this game was made before Undertale's time, and I was hoping it would get the same love and admiration that game got. But only time will tell now. I've done my part, and now I leave it all to you, out there, to try this game out and love it as much as I did. Thank you for another fantastic episode of Under Radar, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.